Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're covering creating and tracking custom campaign URLs in Google Analytics for both Universal Analytics and for Google Analytics 4. So this is what the report will look like, how the data will populate, and we'll use Google's Campaign URL Builder. This tool will allow you to track campaign performance by adding campaign parameters to your destination URL, to where you want your target audience to click to on your website. So for example, if we have this as our destination URL, it'll add these campaign parameters to the end of the URL. That way we'll have data and metrics around where the target audience is coming from. So whether it's coming from a specific source, such as a social media network, Instagram, Twitter, it'll have data around the medium or the traffic channel, which could be social, it could be a referral site or CPC, that is cost per click paid advertising, or some other traffic channel. And of course, it'll have the campaign name attached as well. There are also some optional campaign parameters that you can add to specify the content included in those specific channels or traffic sources. So we'll have data around users, sessions, behavior as well as outcomes. But before we get into the data that we'll collect, let's build our custom campaign URL. So if you Google campaign URL builder, if you search for it in a search engine, query it, it'll probably be the first result on the search engine results page. Or you can go to this URL in the description. So when you arrive on this page, it gives you some instructions and it lays out all the fields that you need to input in order to generate your custom campaign URL. So for this example, to follow along, we'll just copy and paste this as our website URL. And we'll skip the campaign ID because we're not running Google Ads. Instead, for the campaign source, we'll use Instagram. So this is the specific source from which your traffic will arrive on your website. It could be from a newsletter, email newsletter. It could be some other social media network or some other referral site. So in this campaign source field, you can specify what that traffic source is. And then for campaign medium, here we'll put social since it's from Instagram. Your campaign medium parameter will depend on your campaign source parameter. Some other examples for campaign medium that they have in this tool are CPC, banner, and email. With the Universal Analytics version of Google Analytics, you can refer to this documentation that they have, and there will be a link for this in the description. So you can use values such as social, email, affiliate, referral, CPC, or PPC paid search and some of these other values for the medium. For Google Analytics 4, they have separate documentation for that. That's because the medium, the channel groupings are a little bit different. And here's a link. There'll be a link in the description for this as well. But as you scroll through, you'll see that there are a lot more channels, but you can use any of these values presented here. You can use the ones for 
paid shopping or paid search. They're similar to what we have in Universal Analytics or CPC, PPC, or paid search. There's also channels for paid social, paid video, display, banner ads. There's organic search, organic social, email, and some of these other channels as well. Then there's the campaign name. So input whatever campaign name you have. There's also fields for campaign term and campaign content. These are optional. Campaign term would be any paid keywords that you're targeting. Campaign content can be used to differentiate ads or identify specific segments of your target audience. For example, this custom URL could be used for your target audience that prefers viewing videos or you could use it to specify a URL for the segment of your target audience that prefers reading articles. If you scroll down, you'll see your generated campaign URL and you can click on this icon to copy it and use it in your various traffic channels. If you have a link shortening service, you can use that to shorten the link. As we continue to scroll down, we have more examples and description for each campaign parameter. Now we'll scroll back up and in the left menu, you can see a toggle between Universal Analytics and GA4. The difference is the number of campaign parameters that are required. For Universal Analytics, you have your website URL required, as well as the campaign source, the campaign medium, and campaign name parameters. If you switch this toggle to GA4, the required fields are the website URL, campaign source, campaign medium, and the campaign name is optional. Now, you probably noticed that you can only generate one custom campaign URL at a time. So, if you want to stay organized, there's a link in the description for a free checklist that you can download. And there are some other resources in there as well where you can easily generate multiple custom campaign URLs and keep track of multiple campaign URLs. So now we'll check out the data and how this data reports in Google Analytics. First, in Universal Analytics, here's what the report looks like. To find the campaigns report in Universal Analytics, in the left navigation under the report section, click on acquisition, campaigns, all campaigns. And you'll see this time series chart. You can switch the metrics if you want for the date range here. You can scroll down to the data table and the primary dimension by default is campaign. So you can see all of your campaigns here and the data split into acquisition, behavior, and conversions. Under acquisition, we have the number of users, number of new users, and number of sessions that came to your website through each campaign. In behavior, we have bounce rate, pages per session, average session duration, and for conversions, we have the e-commerce conversion rate, if you have e-commerce set up, the number of transactions, as well as the revenue for each campaign. You can switch from e-commerce to various goals as well.
In Google Analytics 4, there isn't a specific campaigns report by default out of the box, like for Universal Analytics. But you can go into the report section under lifecycle, acquisition, and traffic acquisition. You'll see this report here for the various channels. If you scroll down to the data table, by default, it's set to session default channel group. And you can switch this to session campaign. You can do the same for the user acquisition report as well. And this will give you all the campaigns here, as well as these metrics. And you can scroll to the right to see the various metrics, including the events and conversions, revenue. You can click on the events drop down under conversions for specific events related to your goals or your conversions, such as purchase, begin checkout, or any other events that you might be interested in. If you want to see campaign data for campaigns outside of this date range or for older campaigns, you can change the time frame to the date range that you're looking for. If you download the free checklist in the description, you can see a link to a resource that you can purchase where you can manage all of your campaigns in one place so you don't have to keep switching date ranges. It comes with a URL builder and you can see and input log track your campaign results all in one place and that way you can optimize and figure out which campaigns are providing you the best results. So if you found this video useful, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.